So we've seen energy type and power type signals already. That is, we've seen signals with finite energy and signals with finite power. So we should define these terms, energy type and power type. And so we'd like to be able to learn whether a signal is energy type, power type, or neither energy type nor power type. So we define signals into the three types. The first are called energy type signals, and those are signals for which the energy is finite or equal to zero, but that's just the zero signal. So energy type are signals with finite energy. Power type are signals with finite power, and of course, positive power. So uh, all signals which are energy type have power zero, so we don't want to include those. So we have power type signals that have power strictly bigger than zero, but also finite. And then they're neither energy type nor power type, for which both the energy and the power are infinite. And so given a signal, you want to be able to determine which type it is, because it sort of affects how you're going to treat it in, um, in your uh, system, for example. So you've seen lots of energy type signals. So if I have a finite length bounded signal, that's energy type, right? So again, drawing a picture is always important to first draw a picture. So here's a, you know, here's a finite length bounded signal. And if I take this and square it and integrate that, I'm going to get a finite number. So that's um, energy type. Uh, e to the minus 3t u of t is energy type. So we saw these decaying exponentials that are, that are, uh, that are energy type. But on the other hand, u of t is not energy type. So u of t um, is not energy type because this area under this u of t is going to be uh, infinite as we uh, integrate oh, from minus infinity to infinity. Of course, we've also seen the examples of power type signals. For example, we saw all periodic signals are power type. Um, but u of t is actually power type. So u of t, remember if I'm integrating, integrating from here to here, so if I integrate from, from larger and larger and larger windows, you can see I'm expending uh, in an interval of length t, I'm going to get uh, t. Uh, so I'm going to get 1 over 2t times t equals 1 half. So the limit as uh, t goes to infinity of 1 over 2t uh, uh, times t is equal to a half. Right, so that's uh, that tells you that the uh, U of T is a power type signal. Um, Non-periodic signal, so is U of T uh, is power type, I guess we should say. Uh, Non-periodic signals, which can be bounded by a power type signal, can also be power type. So, for example, if we have these sort of aperiodic discrete time signals, like cosine n over sixteen plus pi over three, remember. The thing multiplying by the n, it doesn't have a pi in it, so it's, it's not periodic, probably. Um, this thing is still power type. So what about signals that are neither power type nor energy type? Well, those are signals that blow up. So for example, if you have an increasing exponential multiplying a unit step or multiplying a cosine, um, those are all going to blow up over time because we can see, uh, again, drawing a picture helps always to draw a picture. Um, you know, if we have something like, like this, and we have our cosine wiggling around between two um, blowing up exponentials, you can see the, the, uh, the energy and the uh, power are going to shoot off to infinity. Uh, an even simpler signal is just the ramp signal, where we can see that the uh, ramp grows a little too fast. If the energy is not growing linearly with time, it's uh, growing quadratically with time. So therefore, the, uh, these is neither energy type nor power type. So I think it's worth going back to some of the signals that you tried, looking at their energy and power, the ones that we've seen so far in the class, um, and try to see, are they uh, energy type or power type or neither? Are there shortcuts that you can use to try and determine whether they're energy type or power type? And, uh, uh, and can you build some intuition for yourself about whether signals are energy type or, or power type?